Flash for three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Career Mode here in the championship where we sit second in the league. Three points behind first place Fulham. Eight points clear off of third place Bournemouth to on. So you're looking like we might get automatic promotion in back-to-back -back seasons. And we might be in the Premier League next season. As far as this month, we are in January, obviously. We have Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. I want to try and make a run in the FA Cup. And obviously, it is one of our board objectives to try and get into the quarterfinals of the competition. So we can see what we do there. I could sign some players, but looking at this team, I don't think we need to bring anybody in. We have Faye, he's doing fantastic. We have Ziegler, Laird, we have Jensen on the bench. As far as board objectives go, we have 36 out of 50 goal contributions for Hoffman. For Fagan, we have 21 out of 15, so we technically done that, but we are up in Nice a little bit. We have only lost one home game in the league, which I think we're actually going to go ahead and already complete that already, so I think we're good there too we have two players that scored off the bench for us and Laird in the same well not the same game but that same episode so we are looking good there as far as we have two out of oh yeah two out of ten on the bench and then 70 out of 100 for the total goal scores in the comp in the whole season we are going to update that to 75 for Hoffman, 50 for Lair, 24 total, 10 total, and then 125 now for a total goal scored. We are going to go ahead and kick this off with a game here against Sheffield Wednesday, but we are going to quick sim because I want to play Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. Full players returning back on loan. McGee, Frazier's, Pearson, Parker, and Parker all back on loan. Honestly, I'm not sure, sh quite sure to do with them. We might have a, a spot. Crystal Palace in the FA Cup at Selhurst Park. At least Petit is trying to defend that. It finds Cabral. Fisher can't do much. Cabral's in behind. Comes off the post. Second header by Henderson. Out for a corner here. Crystal Palace. Fisher looking to head it away. He does it and heads it into the back. And then Cabral has a lead for Crystal Palace. Back. No, why didn't go to Ziegler? Ziegler gets it back though. Ziegler gets a corner. Laird pits in the cross. Acuna whips in the header. That's why didn't we go half time? So Down one nil here to, to Crystal Palace. Cabral, it's a good Can back pass it, into Leafy, Leafy. Leafy, and that's a two nil lead. And that's us out of the FA Cup. Olise, sure back to Cabral, into Leafy. That's three nil. Reynolds, he has Pinto there with him. He's going to take it by himself. Reynolds saved. We can't sure get a consolation goal. Our FA Cup run comes into it early. A 3 nil loss here against Crystal Palace. Focus on championship now. And Luton Town at home. One of the teams that got promoted last season, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, they were with League One with us. We win 3 2. Fagan and a brace from Laird. And McGee, one of the players that just came back off alone. He has been sold to Bayern Leverkusen. For 4 million, somewhere around there, 4.2 mil. Cardiff away from home. We It's a 1-1 draw, Acuna and Waters. They score, we get a draw. As far as the league goes, we are currently sitting second. Five points now behind Fulham. Eight points clear off of Bournemouth. We're in a weird position where we're going for the title, but we're not really trying to support our... Diego Janssen has been sold for 2.5 million to, I don't know what team that is, but he's gone. And John Frazier sent back out on loan to Ajax for two years. See if he can grow a little bit more, and when he comes back, he might be good enough for the first team football. I doubt it. Wakefield versus Ipswich Town. They have 13 points in the league. We have 74 we are only... Oh, I played highlights. Oh, I didn't want to play highlights. We're just going to jump to a result. A 1-1 draw. Edwards and Fisher scores. Damn it, I wanted to play that game. Mikel Chavez has been sold for 1.2 million. Now, this won't take effect until the start of next season. But we don't really need him now. We have Parker, the other center back. And Chavez is kind of not that great anyway as a backup center back. So he's been gone. Sheffield United up next. They have 63 points, 12 points off of us. They could close that gap to 9, or we could extend it to 15. 
Let's go ahead and get into it here. Hoffman, Laird, Ziegler, Fagan, Fisher, Moriano, Oliveira, Petit, Acuna, Evans, and Evans. Bogle. It's a good through ball. Evans initial save out for a corner. In behind. He has Hoffman making a run. Can you find him? Hoffman. We break the deadlock. And it's 1-0 in 60 minutes. In behind. Nobody really wanted to close that pass down. Oliveira just stood there. Keeper stood there. And Chef United tie it up. Go to whip it in. Can he find Acuna's head? Acuna. No. Fisher, no, clear, game over, a 1-1 draw here against Sheffield United. You know what, we'll play one more, just in the episode here. Hull City, they currently sit six, they're in a playoff spot, one point. Keith Fagan still going, now Hoffman back to Fagan. Fagan on his left foot, Fagan finds a back of the net and it's 1-0 for Wakefield. Oscar, and they go into the break, level, it's 1-1. And Fagan on his right foot. Keeper got a touch to it, but it wasn't good enough. And it's a brace for Fagan. It's a lead back for Fulham. For Fulham? For Here comes Rivera. Oliveira stepped up. Oliveira stepped behind. Rivera. Evans saved out for a corner. Last chance here for Hull City to grab an equalizer. Laird trying to head it away. Alex Jones or Jones heads it in, and it's 2 2. And they get another stoppage time goal to level things up. And with that draw, we are now six points behind Fulham. But it could go nine points behind them if they win their game in hand. We have Coventry and Bournemouth up next. Bournemouth obviously sitting in third, trying to somehow climb their way back into second. They are nine points behind us. That will be interesting seeing what they can do. As far as going down Ipswich, Coventry City, and Blackpool. I will see y'all for next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.